Hey, y'all. Hey, good morning. I get to say it again. Jesus is Lord. Hey, thank God the Word works. You know, this is the neat thing. It says, My son, attend to my word. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. That's just Proverbs 4.20. Let them, my words, not depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of your heart. When you meditate on the Word of God, you're putting God on the inside of you. Joshua 1.8. God told Joshua after he took over for Moses, he said, Thou shalt meditate in the word day and night, and then everything that you do shall prosper. And it is the will of God for you to prosper. It says in 3 John verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. You know, we've in the last 20 years had a lot of great people richest people in the world, Steve Jobs, one of them, some of the greatest actors and actresses and singers that ever have been, greatest people in the world. They had lots of money. They had lots of fame. But when it came down to living and divine help, they had no clue and they couldn't receive their healing. Well, you know, there's some great old Pentecostal people that were very prosperous in their healing, lived to be 95 to 100 years old, but they were broke. They were miserable. They lived in an old shack, didn't have anything. God said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you both prosper and be in health. But watch this. Even as thy soul prospers. So my prosperity in my marriage, my prosperity in my bank account, uh, my prosperity uh, in raising my children correct, <clears throat> my prosperity in my calling, called to minister the gospel, is all going to be directly proportionate to how much time I spend in the Word of God and I renew my mind to God's Word until I'm thinking like God thinks, speaking like God thinks, and then all my circumstances are controlled by what I think, what I've renewed my mind to, and what I'm saying with my mouth. Healing's the same way. Now, Pat and I, we don't want to tell you how old we are, but you can figure this out. I've been married 51 years, uh, just in another few months. And, you know, we got married at a very early age, but, you know, I wasn't two years old when I got married. And we're living in divine health. I feel better right now than I felt in the last 20 years. I can walk further, run further, do more, jump higher, uh, go where I want to go, do what I want to go, eat what I want to eat, do the things that I want to do because my body is prospering because I'm planting the seed of the the word of God, and it says in Proverbs 4, for the word is life to all them find them. And if you look that up in the Hebrew, it's a medicine. So the word is better than uh, penicillin. The word is better than uh, all of those mind-altering drugs. The word is better, uh, you know, than whatever you can, you know, junk, put, you put in your body, the chemical stuff. I'm not speaking against that, but what I'm saying is if you'll sow as much time to plant the seed of the word of God as you do about taking the medicine that the doctor told you to take, I guarantee you that word will keep you well. We're not going to the doctor every other day. We're not like some folks that are over 60 that have to go down and sit in the doctor's office all day and somebody say, yeah, but I ain't got time to spend in the word of God. You're going to spend more time on the road to and from sitting in the doctor's office waiting on him and then spending your money down at the drugstore buying the drugs that he told you to buy than if you just take 30 minutes a day to meditate in the Word of God. I like to prosper in everything I do. Hey, I got to go. Remember, it's the Word that puts you over and so until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day. Hey, Jesus is Lord and thank God the Word works.